You guys might be wondering why I'm so happy right now. Well, it's because I'm home alone. What more can you say? When you're home alone in a toxic household, that's probably like the best feeling ever. I had a pretty good day at work, I would say. A little bit tired, but that dopamine boost, when I came home, I'm like, oh shit, I'm home alone. I'm like, fuck, damn, I guess I'm not tired no more. I got to do so many things on my checklist now. Like, it wouldn't make sense to the average person, but for me, it's to always walk around the house, discover new weird fucking things, or just go to places that, I don't know, I just feel like going to. Because, again, my mom's a germaphobe. There's hella places that I'm not allowed to go to, right? Because I'm dirty and she's clean. For example, the upstairs. If you guys see my TikToks, again, link in the description. I have a lot of places that I've gone to without my mom knowing. And I do that every single time I'm home alone. And for once, I can just sit here and enjoy the sunset. Because most of the time when I tutor, I work... You know late into the night so basically i work from the afternoon all the way to night so i always miss the sunset so it's nice to be right here to just look at the sunset and this nice view again using the house properly instead of how my fucking parents are doing it like why the fuck do you buy this house to not use it correctly what is wrong with them you know the harsh reality is that my parents could have enjoyed all of this my whole family but it was never used so I think what I'm doing right now when I'm home alone, I'm just putting into max use, basically. Which is kind of a weird, sad way to think about how it just wasn't used. Just because of some stupid contamination of OCD. And apparently it's common. It's more common than you think in immigrant parents. I don't know why. But clearly there hasn't been enough research on it. And I've met a lot of people that actually have similar issues with their immigrant parents. And of course, when my video is going viral on TikTok, I found out there's actually even more. And there's weirdly a lot of parallels. Either way, I'm pretty happy. I will say, I know I don't look super happy, but definitely not depressed, for sure. Well, ironically, I did get diagnosed with depression, but that's for another video. Um, long story short, I basically just told them to hold off on it for now because I'm feeling happier. For example, right now. So I guess ignorance is a bliss. I've just been simply ignoring all the issues around me. Well, at least issues I can't control, right? That's always like a boundary line. And then that's a boundary line I kind of forgot to um, put for myself when I stayed at home for too long now. It's been like almost two years since I graduated college. So I'm back to setting the boundary of what I can control and what I can't control. You know, of course, there's always the harsh reality of stuff that I can't control. Like, you know, I guess my parents are just going to die like this. And I'm just going to remember them like this with severe mental illnesses. But I can't control it. Thinking about it is just going to make it worse, right? So I might as well just think about happy shit or just try to put it in some good perspective. As hard as it is. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? So... Either way, I don't think I ever told you guys about the spot that I'm sitting at. This corner right here that I'm sitting at, this is where my family used to sit all the time. So in this corner, we have the double couch right here, and this is like the triple couch for three people. This is for two people. So my mom used to always sit here because she can reach her back and her legs to the other side of it. She'll work on her computer stuff. My dad will sit at the bigger couch just laying down like watching TV. You know, of course, before everything went to shit, my mom's OCD got worse, new rules are imposed, and now no one sits here, except for me. But I wouldn't even fucking sit here because I don't want to be outside my room dealing with my parents talking to them. I can't edit videos or, like, talk to my friends or whatever because I don't want my parents listening, you know? Either it's about exposing my mom on fucking TikTok and talking about prevalent Asian American issues or just talking about anything in general with my friends i just don't want my parents to know because whether it's good or bad they're gonna say some shit about it and i don't have the mental energy for it so again setting boundaries right but either way i'm in the spot enjoying the spot that's how it should be because there's a nice little sliding door right there and then the sunset's kind of gone now but 
it's pretty nice. My parents even built this patio like years ago before I was born. And again, they don't fucking use it. I don't know why they built it. I don't know why they still try to deny that they, they're nothing and they haven't done anything wrong. But since they can't admit that, I'm going to be the one that fucking enjoys it. Because that makes me happy. I'm going to enjoy it until I move the fuck out. Still waiting on wait list. Did a few more apartment tours. Been just forcing myself on a better sleep schedule. Really stopped doom scrolling. Been posting on TikTok and Instagram less. And I'm just focusing a bit more on YouTube. So I'm still editing like other vlogs of just me just going about my day and shit. Yeah, just a quick update. I'll see you guys next time when I'm going to rant about something. See ya.